Hello, my name is William Hewitt, and I am your instructor for Business Administration 188. You'll see right up here on the top is my email, and that is going to be the best way to contact me throughout the term. I have this on my phone. I monitor it often. It'll always, be again, be the quickest and easiest way to get a hold of me with any questions. There are other ways, of course, form posts, those types of things, but again, this is going to be the best and the fastest for you. Our textbook is Customer Service, 6th edition by Robert W. Lucas, if copyright is 215. There probably is, of course, older and possibly newer texts out there, but we're using the 6th edition. That'll save us a little bit of money. Uh, it's a very good text. I like it a lot. Over here in the corner, of course, you're doing this, the Getting Started, Watch Your First Video. And as we kind of scroll down here, it kind of says Read Verse. First one, of course, is going to be the Welcome to BA 188. In here, we're going to have lots of good information uh, where you can get the text, uh, kind of reminding you that this is an online class, kind of giving you an outline then of you know about the number of hours that you would need to allot for uh, successful com completion of this test, how things are kind of set up. Um, it's not a self-paced class, and sometimes the format of online classes is, this is not. I kind of guide the weeks as we go from week to week. I will open weeks for the, for the next uh, unit on usually Saturday night. That's also when work is due. We'll talk more about that in a minute. But again, lots and lots of good information in this particular section. Next tab down, of course, there'll be a little introduction about myself. And then, of course, BA 88 for the syllabus. Lots of good information in here. Prerequisites, course description, assessment strategies, um, goals and objectives, expectations, all of that good stuff. ADA, if you need some of that, where you can get additional assistance. Academic honesty, of course, is always important in any class you take. And then down here, of course, the important sections for homework, how the chapter tests work, grades, that type of thing. Next, we have a little bit of a rubric here on how I'll grade your assignments so you kind of know what I'm going to be looking for. Next tab is the minimal technical requirements. The best use of uh, use is the Microsoft package uh, with the uh, way Moodle is set up. It really works well. Apple does work. Uh, you need to remember to save the format and a little bit different. Sometimes PDFs uh, that I can read sometimes depending on how you save things. Uh, ODT files work pretty well. Again, probably PDFs are the best if you're using Apple products uh, because then I can open them and see them on my end. Next down here, again, required looking at are the calendar due dates so you know when things I'm looking for them. Again, everything is going to be due on Saturday night at midnight. Now, I'm probably not going to grade them Saturday night at midnight, but that's when they're due. I'll probably grade Sunday morning. Uh, and again, maybe it's by chapter, the date, but depending on your particular term, these will be accurate for your particular term. Next couple of sites here are going to be Netiquette very standard uh, expectations for not only face-to-face uh, -face classes but online classes uh, just how we treat our fellow classmates how we respond to written work those types of things uh, and then we have our privacy statements uh, for web resources used in the course down below again I have marked use as needed so again lots of good things here technical support if you need that something's not working quite right you can contact the college uh, online learning orientation. If this is your first online class, this is, might be a good site to kind of explore, uh, get that information. And then, as I mentioned, you know, we use the Microsoft products. And one of the things I have as an optional section is some PowerPoints that you can view. And if you don't have a PowerPoint viewer, there are some links where you can download a free version so you can access those materials available to you in the class. Again, how to use Moodle, questions and answers, distance learning, ADA. Again, if you need uh, access to those resources, please contact them early in the term so they can get that information to me. And again, student services, that type of thing. Right here it says instructor's form, required to check a couple of times weekly. 
what this is is where I put information of value to the entire class. So again, maybe some uh, tidbits on uh, information for doing your assignments, uh, reminding you of due dates, those types of things. Uh, some weeks I may post two or three times, maybe some weeks I don't post anything depending on how the class is going. But again, I would like you to just kind of click on in there and make sure you don't miss that information. For students, it's not something I manage. Uh, these are things like if you need a ride to one of the other campuses, if you're on Hood River and need a ride to the Dalles or vice versa, and you want to see if one of your fellow classmates is going there, you can, you can catch a ride, this is where you can ask them or just general questions. So this is your form to use as needed. So again, you might check that from time to time. The last lease, it says optional here, it says there are a glossary of customer service terms. There's a lot of vocabulary in the text. Some of it may be new to you. And so I have this available with the meanings of the words in both Spanish and English for your, your benefit. Then the next thing down here I would really like you to do, I think, to benefit is um, go to this introduction on week one video um, because this is going to tell you how I would like you to do the various assignments, how to upload assignments, so make sure I see them, uh, that type of thing. So again, welcome to this class. This is a fun class. Like I mentioned before, I enjoy teaching this and uh, hopefully you'll be able to get a lot out of it. So again, welcome.